Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. In today's update, we are actually going to talk about mechanics. Are they giving you a fair deal, or are they taking you for a ride? Well, to start off with, I got a video here for you to explain basically what I'm talking about a bit better. This is a video of, that was basically a hidden camera video taken by someone else for ABC News talking about mechanics doing exactly that, that exact same thing. But what you'll be surprised to find out is, is it's more gender-based than you realize. So if you stick with me, I'll be right back. We fanned out across the New York, New Jersey area. Ready for our tactical briefing? Two teams, two similar cars requesting the same services. The windshield wipers not working. This is a plan every day. Pull over, activate the cameras, and we get down to business. We're working with Audra Forden. She's our undercover mechanic. I feel like the industry is, it's, it's getting damaged by just a few bad apples. We wanted to see what would happen if we went to a shop owned by a well-known national chain, this Goodyear in Comac, New York. Once again, we set up that simple test, intentionally breaking our windshield wipers by blowing this $4 fuse. We send in our first team. Nice to meet you. Our undercover men. The wipers are fixed. There's a bad fuse. A bad fuse? Yeah, get a blown fuse. Oh. The mechanics fix that blown fuse for free for them. But a few days later, when Audra and I get there... I have a problem with my wipers. Our hidden cameras show them fixing the blown fuse in less than a minute. There he is, turning on the wipers. But like in New Jersey, these guys tell the women it's not a fuse, but a complicated wiring issue. You got an electrical problem with the, with the wipers. It's the wire from the switch to the fuse panel is broken. Can you show us? There. Ooh, so much information. I really can't pull on it too much, but my hand's on it. It's right here. Okay. And then Joe, the mechanic, makes it seem like he's doing us a favor. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it apart, and I'm going to solder a new wiring for you. So. Rather than ordering a whole new wire harness, I could fix that for a hell of a lot less. His co-worker, Ross, recommends an oil change. Well, did he say that it needed it? Yeah. Oh, how can you tell? I've never answered that. Pull the dipstick out, you know, you can see the color of the oil. Oh, well, what color is it? It's dirty. What can... Wait a minute. Rewind. Here we are just that morning checking the oil. It sure looked clean back then. It's, it's a nice brownish golden color, so there's no reason to change it. And then this. They do a good job finding a plastic connector that's cracked and held in place with a screw. You have a thing called a throttle cable. That's where your gas pedal's hooked up to. Show what's going on with that. It should be replaced, but for some reason, they don't leave it at that. First, they say if we don't fix it, our car can be impounded. You would fail inspection if, if you came in for an inspection and that was like that, right. by law we're supposed to call the state and notify the vehicles not allowed on the road. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Not really. The state doesn't impound cars for this. But they go on. This is illegal. That's 100% illegal to put a screw on this. Also not true. And then he tells us if we don't act now, we could kill someone. That comes out of place, your pedal jams wide open. You, if you don't shut the vehicle off, you hit somebody. You can roll the car, you kill people. It's illegal. You lose control of your vehicle. That's so scary. So it's a safe issue? It's illegal. It's illegal, it's illegal number one, number two, you step on the gas. Now let's go. It's just going to. As Audra walks out, she struggles to stay calm. She tells us what the mechanics just said is not true. In fact, she says it's the opposite, that if the throttle cable came loose, our car would slow down, not speed up. Intense. Wow. They have to call the state to come and take our car away if we don't fix it. What are you talking about? Rid Ridiculous. Other mechanics we talked to agree with Audra. So it's time to go back to that Goodyear shop and talk with them. Ready? Okay, here we go. We actually sent two teams well, in, I, both driving identical cars, one team of men, one of women. I was one of the women, and the other woman was a mechanic. 
So when you said that that throttle cable, if it came loose, would send our car raging out of control, she knew that it would actually slow the car down, not speed it up. I um, don't wish to make a comment, and I do not remember saying that it was going to crash or that it would uh, cause a problem. And as you noticed, we saw how they treated the man just fine. They said, oh yeah, it was just your fuse. It was, we put a, few, a free fuse in for you. You're good to go. But whereas the woman, which was actually a mechanic, um, they tried to take her for a ride. So are mechanics basically gender-based as far as, you know, treating people right? Or are they just based off of money and stupidity? This video that I showed you shows it's a bit of both. The mechanics at Goodyear are basically gender-based. They're gender-biased, basically. And they want to take you for a ride. I mean, come on, really? A loose clutch cable is going to make your car speed up. No, actually, it's the other way around. A loose clutch cable will make your car slow down because there's nothing pulling back the clutch to let the, make the throttle go faster. At least the cable's broken. As well as other things as you notice in this video. Plus, I also, in this video, I'm also going to show you a few little short clips of the video I took from my car. I actually had a, a guy that was recommended to me put in uh, new brake pads for me and a new bearing for me. Well, unfortunately, he left out a part of my car that could have caused me a lot, a lot of money. In fact, that piece of that car, he said it was a dust cover, so dust does not get in the bearing. And as you see by the picture up here, it's not a dust cover. It was a bearing, uh, bearing clip holder. In other words, it basically holds the bearing in place, so you're not riding on a CV axle. You're actually riding on the bearing, so the bearing stays in place. And he also did not put my bearing in properly. He did not seat it properly, so it was also sliding out. As you'll see in, my, in the two short videos, it's about, both videos take about a minute, I think, at best, of viewing time. So I'm going to give you a before and after. So you tell me, was I right to have this piece put in? I think I was because I don't want to be riding on my CV axles and destroying my car. So if you just stick with me for one minute, well, actually, it's a bit longer than that, sorry. I'm going to throw these few clips in for you so you can actually see what I'm talking about so you, under, you can understand a bit better so I don't confuse you because I've been known to do that. So I'll be right back. Brand new rotors, brakes are getting edged down. Tell me what you see now. Uh, if I can actually get you back there. Look at that. Rot brand new rotors on both sides. Those look so pretty. So pretty. New rotors, new struts. And as you saw, you, as you saw from the before and after, I basically needed that piece in there. And the funny thing is I actually went to the dealership to try to get that exact piece. And they're trying to say, oh yeah, well, that, 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 that's out of stock because that car's not made no more. And if you want it, it's going to cost you $21. Well, I was lucky enough to get hold of the person who actually originally did the work on my car. And he still had the piece he took off my car. So I actually had to go to his house, pick the the um, piece up to go back to my other 
mechanic, the one that's a diesel mechanic that actually teaches mechanics in high school, to have him put it on so my car is a lot more safer. And I prefer a more safer car to drive. This way I don't run over people because my bearing goes shooting out of my passenger side car, causing me to crash and injure people. So it's better to actually have every part in your car. Don't ever let your mechanic say, oh yeah, well, I don't know where this part went. Even if it's a screw, make sure your mechanic knows where every piece goes. So every piece taken out goes back into place so your car runs perfectly. I like it. But like I said on this one, as you saw, I mean, there's a lot of dishonest mechanics out there. There's also honest mechanics out there. Finding which one is which is a problem, but I wish you guys all the best of finding the perfect mechanic that fits your needs. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening out there. And if you have any comments, please feel free to comment. I will reply to everyone I get. So until next time, have a wonderful evening. Bye.